615 and many of us are trying to eat less meat and more fish these days right as part of a healthier diet but what's the cheapest and the healthiest fish that we should be eating our consumer reporter Janice Lieberman gives us the real deal about what we should be bringing home for dinner we went fishing for answers as to which fish should be on your shopping list and which should be tanked. When we think of buying fresh seafood, we think of serene lakes or raging oceans. You know, we actually consume an average of 26 pounds of fish a year per person. But according to Victoria Seaver of eatingwell.com, not all fish are equal when it comes to your health. The top five fish to shop for include Atlantic mackerel, Atlantic wild caught salmon, Pacific caught wild sardines, rainbow trout, as well as some lake trout. And what should we limit? Larger fish that live for a longer period of time and also maybe tend to eat smaller fish have higher levels of mercury in their system. So that might be things like marlin, shark, those sort of things. Quality seafood can be pricey. Victoria says not to shy away from frozen. Most fish, when it's caught out at sea, it's frozen right then and there to preserve freshness. So you're not losing out on anything when you opt for frozen. It makes good sense to buy individually frozen packets of fish, so there's no waste. Let's face it, leftover fish isn't all that appealing. Just because a fish is on sale doesn't necessarily mean that it's going bad. So definitely take advantage of those sales in your store. And here's a definite. If it smells, leave it behind. All seafood should smell fresh, not fishy. Canned fish is a great option as well. Salmon, sardines, mackerel. It can be a cheaper and handier way to add good protein to your diet. I'm Janice Lieberman, and that's The Real Deal.